hey, we have an interesting problem here today from the MIT Integration B 2010. This was problem number one. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, sine x, sine two x, sine three x, dx. Okay, for this problem, I really just wanted to approach it in a straightforward way and use the different angle formula. So let's look at the different angle formula for sine. Okay, we have our different angle formula for sine here on the board. And what I'm doing right now is I just wanna focus on these first terms. I'm just gonna focus on sine x and sine two x. I'm not ready to look at sine three x yet. So using this formula on sine two x times sine x, our a value is just gonna be two x, our b value is just gonna be x. So let's just fill this in. So we're gonna have one half cosine of a minus b, two x minus x, we're just gonna have a cosine of x here, minus the sum of the angles, minus cosine of the sum of the angles, just gonna be cosine of three x. And now I'm ready for my sine of three x, so what I'm gonna do is let's just multiply that into this expression right here. Okay, now I've distributed my sine of 3x into this expression, giving us this here. And now we're going to need another identity for this one and this one. We'll use the different angle formula for sine cosine. Okay, now we've got this very similar formula for sine and cosine down here on the right. This is just going to break up this product into a sum of sine angles. So let's use this on both of these. So for our first one, using this we're going to have, for sine 3x times cos x, we're going to have our one half up front. Then we're going to have the difference of the angles. So this is going to be sine of 2x plus the sum of the angles, which is just going to be sine of 4x. Now, for this one, we don't actually need this formula, because we can actually use the double angle formula. But because we have it, I'm just going to use it while it's there. But you could do it either way and get the same result, of course. So again, we're going to do the difference of the angles. So it's going to be sine. But now 3x minus 3x is just going to give me a 0x. So this term is actually going to 0, and we can ignore it. And then for the next term, we're just going to have the sum of the angles. This is going to be sine of 6x. But now I can just take these one halves and factor them out. So we just have a one fourth in front of the whole expression. And then we're just gonna have sine two x plus sine of four x here. And then here I'm gonna have a minus sine of six x. But now at this point, this is something that we can integrate pretty easily. So let's put this back into the integral so we can finish it off. Okay, now I've taken the one fourth we had from the previous board and just brought it out front of the integral as a constant. And so now we can integrate this thing. So I have my one fourth. Integral of sine 2x is going to be minus cosine 2x over 2. Integral of sine 4x is going to be minus cosine 4x over 4. And then integral of minus sine 6x is going to give me a plus cosine of 6x over 6. And we just need to evaluate this thing from 0 to pi over 2. So let's plug this in. So now plugging in pi over 2, cosine of 2 times pi over 2 is going to be cosine of pi, which is going to give me a minus 1 here with the minus one in front, that's gonna give me one half. Then doing a four times pi over two, that's gonna be a two pi. We're gonna have a minus one over four here. And then six times pi, that's gonna be a three pi. That's gonna give me a minus one here. So we're gonna have a minus one over six. Then for our zero, we'll have our one fourth out front. So I plug the zero and all these cosines are gonna be one. Cosine of zero is always one. So we're gonna end up here. This first term is gonna be minus one half, minus, one over four, and this is just gonna be plus one sixth. And I think I'll use this minus to just change the sign and everything, try to make the simplification a little bit easier for me. I'll factor one over four out. Half plus half is one here. One fourth minus a fourth is a zero here. Minus a six minus a six is gonna be minus a one third. One minus one third is gonna be two thirds. So one fourth times two thirds is gonna give me my final solution of just one over six. Okay, you may notice this problem was really similar to one I did recently with cosines. The signs make this just a little bit more complicated, but still not too bad. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.